Alright, this is Apollo here. I have the video review of the SOCOM Gear MEU Special Unit 45 Colt 1911 pistol. Alright, purchased this off of evike.com. And I'm going to go through here and I'm just going to show you everything that is in the package. Alright, now when you get it, it's going to say MEU SOCOM. MEU SOC, which is the Marine Expeditionary Unit Special Operations Capable, which basically just means it has a rail and the threaded barrel for a silencer. Now, even though the Marine Corps emblem is on the box itself, my gun did not come with any Marine Corps emblems on the gun itself. All right. When you get it, it's going to be packaged like this. It does not come with a tack like this. I bought separately. It's a GMP. Uh, but it does come with the lanyard. Then, you have the pistol itself. So, let's get this box out of the way. The pistol has a nice finish to it. It is full metal. Slide, frame, trigger, trigger guard, which is part of the train, uh, frame. The slide lock, the safety locks, ambi safety by the way, uh, hammer, weaver tail, you know, uh, outer barrel, inner barrel, the hop-up unit is also metal, the flash hider, the threaded flash hider is metal, comes with one 15 round single stack magazine, okay, that's all right. I don't know if mine just needs to be, you know, resealed or something, but I can get 10 rounds through it, and it will stop feeding, so, like, it'll stop, the gas will just go out. On the gun itself, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here, it says, uh, professional caliber, 45 on it. And then on the other side, the right-hand side, it says SOCOM Special Unit. And it's got a little uh, spade right there. It says made in Taiwan, SOCOMgear.com underneath, and Slim, uh, Slim California. It does have the railed frame for flashlight. The pistol grips, they are plastic, but they feel rubber. Like, they have like a rubber texture to it. I don't know if it's just the checker pattern or what but tack light goes on easy enough just have that like that pretty easy to access same thing with a silencer I got a GMP silencer too this is a special forces silencer That screws on pretty easily. It is a gas blowback. The slide will lock open when it is empty. And then you just hit that. Lock that sucker forward. The sights do have white dots on them, but they are not raised sights. So if you do have a silencer on, it's going to be blocked. The sights are going to be blocked by the silencer here. So... I mean, if you want that extra cool look, and you want to have the silencer on, by all means. But if you, if you don't, if you, it's just preference. I, I can run either way. Um, breakdown. Breakdown of the gun is really simple. All right. You also need to do this in order to adjust the hop up. There's two notches on the gun when you're shooting. Once the gun is empty, once if the mag is in and it's empty, the first notch is directly under where it says professional caliber 45. It's the biggest one. That's what locks the slide open. But behind it, I'll try and zoom a little bit, there is another notch. You want to have the slide like that and then push through on this side here. And you take that out set this aside do not do not do not lose that all right 
when the slide comes forward. You got your recoil spring right here. You got your recoil plug and your barrel bushing. Those come out. This is a little snug on this one. But these come right out. Okay. Then you can slide the whole outer barrel and inner barrel right out the front like that. Now, you don't need to do all that to adjust the hop-up, but this is where the hop-up knob is to adjust the hop-up, right here on the gun. All you have to do to adjust the hop-up is just take off the slide, and you can access it right there. Okay. When you're putting this gun back together, though, this is very important. If you do not have the recoil plug, set correctly on the barrel bushing if it's off like that if you go to pull the trigger if it's off center like that if you go to pull the trigger this is going to get dented this is going to bend and you're going to have to replace it and you're probably going to break the barrel the plug uh recoil plug bushing too recoil plug because uh that's what happened to me on my other we on this one right here, I'll show you. What will happen is you'll break it, and the base of it will snap off. You see how this has nothing on here, and this one has the lip? That'll break off, and you're going to have to replace it. It's an $8 part, and for me, bike, it's $12 for shipping from California for ground. So, just trust me. Make sure it's in the right place if you get to disassemble it. Okay? Move these off the side. Alright, so. Got the barrel bushing there. Put the recoil plug back in. Spring. Slide it back together. Line it back up, push it back in, and you're good to go. Um, that's pretty much it for uh, pretty pretty good weight. Sights are good, except for the fact I would like to raise raise sights for the silencer for the fact that they do have the threaded barrel on here. Um, 300 FPS, 330 FPS, you know, got that range with green gas. The magazine, though, little note with the magazine. It says 15 rounds, and it can hold up to 15 rounds, but once you get to 15 rounds, it's half, the last BB is half exposed where you feed them in. And when you go to pull it back, pull back the slide, when it pushes down on the BB to catch it, It'll cause it to go down, and it'll jam down here, and it won't feed. So you'll be shooting blanks. So my advice, just fill it up to 14 rounds, and you'll be set. Uh, really cool looking gun. Really nice weight, nice kick to it. Um, can use green gas, that's what I use. Uh, red, ga red gas can use... Uh, propane with silicone, that's fine. But uh, very, very good gun. I'm very pleased with it, except for the mag, how I can't go through a full mag. I'm a little disappointed in e-bike because of that. But, I mean, sometimes you get a lemon, so to speak. But other than that, the gun is perfect. Uh, I'll have a video up on accuracy right out of the box on adjusted hop-up. And speed and kick. So I'll have a shooting test up after this video. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. That's it.